The F-15 EX Eagle II has all the makings of a classic fighter jet Russia or China will hate. The Eagle is a child of the 1960s and 1970s, and it had a straightforward purpose, to excel at air-to-air -air fighting. The Eagle grew out of that single-purpose mission. The catchphrase became not a pound for air-to-ground, meaning the plane wouldn't be equipped for dropping bombs. The F-15 EX Eagle II is the latest and greatest addition of Boeing venerable and battle-proven as the F-15C model performance 104 victories and zero losses in air-to-air -air combat during 40-plus years of service. The F-15 EX is a two-seat all-weather, multi-role fighter that offers enhanced capabilities that are completely unique to the U.S. Air Force. It includes fly-by-wire flight controls, new weapon stations, new electronic warfare suite, advanced radar and computer, conformal fuel tanks, and a strengthened airframe. The improved F-15EX also features a deep magazine that will allow it to carry a load of advanced weapons, yet with a 28% larger payload than the F-15E. The F-15EX can enable rapid technology insertion that will ensure the platform's relevance for decades to come. This will be accomplished via an open mission systems architecture, which can deliver advanced battle management systems capabilities, allowing the F-15EX to operate independently while isolated, but also to reconnect to the global cloud. The Eagle II aircraft comes with an improved cockpit, electronic warfare sensors, and data fusion capabilities. The cockpit is set to feature large color multifunction displays with touchscreen capability and these will be a critical part of the aircraft, providing pertinent mission information to the pilot for enhanced situational awareness. Additionally, survivability will be enhanced by way of an integrated electronic warfare suite to better protect against active search, tracking, and engaging radar or missile systems. Automation of onboard functions will also figure into reducing pilot workload and reduce reaction times against threats. Future growth of internal systems is also being built into the F-15EX's design, allowing integration of on-the-horizon components still to come. In terms of offensive capabilities, the F-15EX will be delivered from the outset with support for all in-service, as well as some future U.S. Air Force ordnance including air-to-air -air missiles, jettisonable fuel tanks for extended operational ranges, and special mission pods across underwing, under fuselage and ventral line hardpoints up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles are expected to be supported under full loads by this aircraft. These updates mean that the 4.5 generation aircraft can operate effectively and survive in a fifth generation battle space. With a top speed of 2.5 Mach, the F-15EX will be the fastest jet in the U.S. Air Force fleet. The F-15EX has an operating ceiling of 70,000 feet and an effective range of about 1,300 miles. In an escort modification, the aircraft can carry an impressive 16 AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, for AIM-9X Sidewinder heat-seeking short-range air-to-air missiles, and two AGM-88 air-to-surface high-speed anti-radiation missiles in 11 hard points under the wings. In a precision strike package, the aircraft can carry 16 small diameter bombs for AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, two AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles, one 2,000-pound joint direct attack munition, and two fuel drop tanks. The F-15EX is considerably cheaper to field and arguably a more cost-effective aircraft, which the U.S. and its allies have generally favored. The F-15EX notably has lower operational costs than older F-15 variants and is built with much more modern manufacturing techniques which allow it to more easily incorporate upgrades ranging from new armaments to new software. There are several much lesser recognized variables regarding the significance of the upgraded Air Force's F-15EX jet fighter's first flight. Alongside the highly visible discussion regarding its more affordable cost and upgraded fourth-generation technologies, there is speculation that the F-15EX could actually be a little stealthy. The F-15EX has pluses and minuses. Its capabilities are strong, but the downsides are many. The F-15EX utterly lacks the stealth features necessary to operate effectively in the context of modern air combat. With the ongoing global proliferation of Russia's formidable S-400 missile system and the imminent debut of its S-500 successor, it will become progressively harder for F-15EX squadrons to fly in contested airspace without incurring active risks. So, what do you think? 
Would it get wiped out by newer surface-to-air missile systems and enemy stealth fighters? Please let us know in the comment box.